They're like so many. Back a little bit, look at this guy. We're gonna take one of these tanks home. I'm gonna show you guys what it is. This is insane. Oh, let's head him up. Woo! With catch him all fishing with Zach Ketchum. Look at this fish. Oh get him up. Guys, welcome back to another episode of Catch Em All Fishing. Come on over here, guys. I gotta show you something really quick, though. We're actually at Neighborhood Fish Farm. We're coming back to you in a future episode. Don't worry, we're not getting a fish from here right now, but we are getting something absolutely amazing that we meant to get a long time ago. Very soon, guys. What we're gonna do is come back here in the next episode and get some crazy fish. But for right now, I wanted to show you guys all these bed fish. Check it out. Look at all of the bed, especially this one. I was trying to think, what is the just the coolest bed of fish that I could get? It's you know, it's I know. So <laughs> and there's so many cool ones here, like so many. Back a little bit. Look at this guy. Look at that guy. Just so unique, so unique. There's so many, but look at like seriously, there are so many. Oh my God! Look at the fins on these. These are like special ones. Look at this guy. Can you see that? Wow. He's like tan. And now, there's just all sorts of them. I don't really want to mess with these because they're perfectly balanced, but they're just really, really, really cool fish. They have a ton of them here, but I was Googling and I was looking around. Apparently, there's a new species of betta fish that no one seems to have yet, and I'm gonna get for you guys today. They don't have them here just yet, but they probably will soon. Guys, your mind's about to be blown. Look at this, guys, glowfish. Sickeningly beautiful. What? Come back on. Hop on. Anyway, <laughs> at least this part is waking. Look at them. Look at them. Look how many there are. Ridiculous. This is a male. I can't really see it. We're gonna have to take a couple home and see what they look like, guys. This is a female. Dude, not as cool as a female I bought. Not even close. I gotta show you guys the ones that I got actually not too long ago, but as you can check it out. This is what a male ends up looking like. I'm gonna show you the one that we got. It's actually so sick. We're gonna take one of these tanks home. I'm gonna show you guys what it is because this is so sick. Look at this. We're gonna put this together and kind of analyze, see if it's worth getting, guys. I think it is. Glowfish has always been a good brand. And I'm telling you, my glowfish that I bought, those things are still alive in my pond and they're doing really, really well. We're gonna take this girl home to match our beautiful male and see what happens. Welcome back. We're back here at Catch Em All Kingdom, guys. So. So I got a bunch of little supplies from PetSmart and other places around here. We actually stopped, made a couple stops on the way home. So I'm gonna show you guys what we got. But first, the glowfish tank and the glowfish itself. I'm gonna show you this guy in a minute. It is absolutely ridiculous, ridiculous. But for now, he's gonna go away up until the point that we open up this tank and get it set up for them, which should take pretty quickly. You don't have to age the water and all that stuff. We actually have the cheat codes, the better fish water. I'm not even risking it. I'm not taking any chances. No lake water with this guy. None of that stuff. Just that clean, filtered better fish water. Check that out. You can buy this. Any beta fish store, any pet store, they sell the beta fish water. It's pretty expensive. It's actually like $5 a bottle. But, you know, for today's video, I wanted to show you guys how you could do this the quick and easy way without any stress and worrying about, oh, my fish is going to die because beta fish die on their own just like any other fish. I did have a female, but I'm going to show you her in just a moment. Uh, she's not doing too well. This is a glowing, beautiful glowfish thingamajigger. I don't know. Hopefully that comes out good and it, hopefully that glows. We also have this bad boy. Check it out. Glowfish flakes. Looks good? Yeah. Delicious. This, if for all those who want to just use regular water, this is just water conditioner, guys. You can use any water conditioner. It just happens to have the Glowfish on it, the Glow Beta Fish, you know? So I want to test out all these products for you guys so you guys wouldn't have to just wonder what's going on at home. And last but not least, some organic gummy worms. <laughs> I like organic gummy worms. Uh -huh. We have all our supplies right here and we have our tank right here. We're gonna set that up for you just now. Look at that thing. It looks pretty, pretty cool from the outside. We're gonna take it out right now, but check out what these betta fish can actually look like. And don't forget, we have one right here. We have a little mixed one right here. This is an actual glowfish in here. We're gonna reveal to you guys pretty soon. So 
This is what they can actually look like though. And I had a female that looked just like this, a massive one. And I'm gonna show you her actually before we even get this video started. Let's show you, let's go ahead and show them what happened to the uh, female, Timmy, come on. Unfortunately, we bought this thing yesterday to make the video today. And guess what happened? I don't know where we got no survivors here. We bought this female to match the male. We're gonna do some breeding, try to breed the glowfish, you know? We're gonna do that soon, sooner or later. But for now, I can't tell you what's going on. We actually bought both of these fish the other day. If you're wondering why my hand is all messed up, guys, it's because I put my hand down a catfish's throat trying to get a pipe out. But yeah, check this out. The most beautiful, gigantic glowfish, betta fish, immediately died. So. I don't know if that says anything to the health of it, but I just kept her in here. It's been in here for literally one whole 24 hour day, maybe less. Sick. Just glowing green, perfectly neon green. Such a cool fish, such a cool fish. But at the same time, you know, stuff happens. So I can actually return this guy to the store. We're gonna try again, fish die, stuff happens. Let's get to the tank part, guys. Mechanical filtration, chemical filtration, and biological filtration. So it has, Pretty, a pretty solid filter for a betta fish. Hopefully the water flow is not too high because honestly my fluval that I had that was about this size was a little bit too much for my last betta fish that I had to give away. So let's go ahead and see what's inside. So we have, it looks like a lid of some sort. I'm gonna put that down right here. We'll move all of our supplies over to the side. So that looks like some type of lid. So be nice and careful. Comes with instructions. Glowfish, glow betta fish. We don't need that. We don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Ping pong table worthy. I'll check it out. Looks good. It looks similar to a fluval type system. And I'm not sure if they're run by the same company, but I don't think they are. Lift this up carefully then. Oh my goodness, that is a handsome tank. Look at that. Look how clean that is. That is ridiculously handsome. One more thing in here. Let's go ahead and open that up. Another piece. Very, very, uh, packed very, very well. I think that is the base of it, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna put this down right here. I think this is just the bottom. What I really like about this glow beta tank is that the corners are rounded. Like, that's so cool. And it's really, it's glass. It's not a plastic tank. And it was pretty cheap. I think this was only $38, guys, um, from PetSmart. So uh, I'm just gonna remove some of these pieces. Hopefully, I don't break anything. Because then we'll have to go back to the store and start a new review video. <laughs> this is the lighting. Let me do a light check really quick. All right. And it comes with a little switch. So that's pretty cool. So let's see. All right. Sick. Looks Ooh. sick. All right. So it looks like it. Uh oh. Ah, we ain't around catching bait! Put my booty up against the wall because catching bait likes to touch it. So, it has that same type of lighting that the Fluval system does have. So, it's pretty cool. That's not really black light, but I mean, hopefully, it makes some glows. I guess we'll find out. Heat check on the light is fire. This glass lid is glass. This glass tank is glass. Like, this is not a joke. Really, really, really fire tank. And what's cool about it is it's it's solid dude it is it is solid i think yeah it's glass all the way around this is a solid tank solid solid multi-level like they said we got the sponge here i'm assuming there's some some type of carbon and fiber filter right here yes yes carbon in here Boom. That's what we need for a good filtration system. If it doesn't have any carbon in it, then it is garbage. Boom. Two seconds. The actual pump. That pumps the whole filtration. Oh, wow. And it's clear, too. So you can see if anything gets stuck in there. Great. You can turn up the, um, the stream, just like any other pump. Looks great. Long cord. I want to see how long the cord is for you guys. It's something a lot of people ask. Pretty long. I'm actually gonna have this very close to an outlet so I won't have a problem with the cord at all. It's not gonna be a problem in the least, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and put this right in. 
and this is actually rubber so that should not be oh uh oh there it looks like there is a little bit of an issue here looks like that might be ripped but i'm gonna go ahead and put it on and see how it does because honestly there shouldn't be much water movement anyway in a betta fish tank so i don't think that's going to affect it very much boom just like that now i'm curious to see the flow of this tank though here's the lid clear lid insanely heavy lid you can push it right to the front and otherwise it does have a little room in the back and this just slides right over it i believe or maybe not maybe to the side okay boom that's how it goes check this out from above i put this on correctly yep that just comes right off right on oh this actually clicks on wow and just does that go just right on top of it is that how hold on it actually says this side up so you just place this right on top of it I, i'm assuming and that's that now all we gotta do i have some cleaned rocks already here is our little glowfish guys check this out zoom into that guy <laughs> he's probably a little dizzy i spun him around a little <laughs> bit too quickly i'm sorry guys but check this guy out zoom into him how does he look just insane that they were actually able to make glow bettas now comes the plants plantalones guys plantalones i'm going to go ahead and rinse this off really quick um, I am going to use sink water. I'm just going to rinse this off really quick. It's no big deal. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> no, he's kidding. But <laughs> God, did you know something about this? Let me show you something. Ready? Smell it. Yeah. You have my heart. <laughs> you have my heart. Dr. Wild Water Farley in the house. Oh, yeah. And he came to look at this tank because it's super cool. And I have these sticky things that stick everywhere. And we match. <laughs> I have the rocks here, guys. I'm going to put the rocks in first. Oh. Check this out, guys. You guys see that? Rocks. Okay. Just gonna go ahead and coat the bottom. More. All of it. <laughs> okay. Boom. Perfect. Done. Perfect. Right that in the middle. That looks really nice. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Got it. Yeah, that looks sick. That right there, how that looks. That should look like a little, like <laughs> Avatar garden with the lighting. Honestly, <laughs> yeah, that, that is does. so sick right now. I'm actually gonna just go ahead and pour all this water directly into the rocks. All right, guys, so we're pretty much done. What I'm gonna do is a little heat check again. I'm gonna see how this pump is doing. It looks really, really, really cool. I'm gonna see how the pump works while it's filled up to about right here and hopefully everything's working and I don't hear any like uh, anything shocking or exploding before I put this fish in. I'm gonna go ahead and move it. That stand moves. Far far I need you got help. this. Thank you Dr. Farley. Yeah yeah. All right. Moss balls are the last thing I'm gonna add. Okay. Ho ho ho. That's Plug that in. That right there. immediately worked. Okay great. Well you want to go ahead and pass me that switch over there by catching bay? I got you. You can pick this up at any load. This is like for Christmas trees or anything. It's just an automatic switch. So that's what you guys see me use all my tanks and do the automatic switch stuff. I've been doing this for years. Uh, let's see. Boom. So now it's on, right? Boom. Whoa! Whoa. Sick! Just filling her up. Oh, zoom into that glory. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. Let's see. Ooh. Wow. Wow, look at the color zoom into that thing. That is insane. That is the saddest thing ever. Look at that. I don't want to use it now, use my hands, whatever. But check them out. Oh, that's nice. Wow, too. look at that. beautiful. Zoom into that thing. It's too moving. I know, right? Wow. Wow, it's so sick. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, let's go ahead. Easy transfer. Check it out, guys. Just like a net, except my net is smooth. Check this out, guys. Wow. Oh my that. God, that is insane. Oh, oh, oh. Well, now he's in there. <laughs> he's up top right now. Yeah. Well, you're gonna have to bend down to get a better look at him. He's moving around. He's moving big time. And now this tank, don't forget, right now we're in broad daylight, guys. We are in broad daylight. And he still looks like that. 
So sick. Oh yeah, and the cars below. Uh, let me know what we should name this guy. He looks sick though. Let's name him Stucco because he keeps right in that thunder. corner and gets and getting stuck. Oh you know? my god! Can you guys see him from up there? He literally looks stuck. Yeah, he's, he hasn't moved it. No. No, we're gonna see if he if he actually gets stuck there or if he's just relaxing there because I don't think he's no I don't he's think not he's, he's gonna join the female no <laughs> he's gonna if, join. He, if he is then it's the tank's fault I gotta see if this if he's really stuck there or if he's because a lot of times better fish will stop moving and they'll look like they're dead can you at least get a net no I'm not gonna move him around that's gonna stress him out more I'm gonna see if that is act if he's actually stuck because <laughs> I've seen him swim away already three times from it well he hasn't moved we're, we're gonna find out together guys and on the next episode of catch him all Z catch him all Woo! <laughs>